What's up guys, today I'm going to go over the top 5 meta PvE loadouts for this season. And this list will be my 5 favorite loadouts, the ones I've been using for a little bit of everything in the game from just like the seasonal loop all the way up to nightfalls and raids. So there might be a few loadouts that you've been using that might not feature on this list and definitely let me know down below which one is your favorite, whether it be one on this list or one that you've been using. And this video will just feature the weapon loadouts and show off why they're good in different situations and not necessarily the entire build. So let's go ahead and jump straight into the number five spot. First off, we're gonna have the Thunder Lord. And with this, I like to pair it with a good AOE act clear special weapon. So for example, the Salvo or the Forbearance, a Rizzo Burst Fusion, or even a Sniper. Then in my primary slot, I like to pair it with the Smite. It's my favorite primary in the game. And every time I use a smite in this video, you can use whatever pulse you want, or really whatever primary for that matter. And the one I have is Demo Firefly, which is extremely good, and probably the role I will craft once I unlock the ability to craft the weapon. And with this build, you can easily turn it into a build for champions. The Thunder Lord has Overload built in. Then with your pulse, you can run the unstoppable pulse on your gauntlets. And then finally, if you run a sniper, you can also use anti-barrier with the six cost energy mod. So overall with this build, the Thumb Lord is kind of good at everything, but not necessarily great at any of those things. So you can take it into a solo law sector, nightfall, raid, whatever it is, and it'll do really good at everything, right? At clear, its DPS is honestly pretty solid and it will definitely be able to solo champions very easily, but there's probably better builds for solo loss sectors, there's better builds for raid boss fights, but it will definitely be above average at everything. So it's kind of like a jack of all trades, but a master of none. And that is why it's at the number five spot in this video. But if you haven't tried it out yet this season, I definitely recommend doing so. And the fact that it just has built in overload rounds makes it a little bit better. Moving on to the number four spot, this one's going to be featuring the three super strong uh, arc exotic primaries. So first with Trinity Ghoul, then the Risk Runner, then finally the Trespasser, all three of which are arc and extremely strong for Acklear. And with this, I like to pair it with the No Reprieve Shotgun with Enhanced Rounded, which is the highest DPS special in the game. Then you can pair it with a Linear. So once again, with this build, you could use Overload Bow and Unstoppable Shotgun there's no way to cover barrier with this build unless you change something out but usually you have teammates or you know so lost sector might only feature those two champions in the first place and now with this build your three primaries of choice or like practically entire arc 3.0 builds just in the single weapon itself the trending goal is so good it's like borderline boring to use and when i'm playing on titan with the storm grenade build usually ember puts this on to try to keep up with kills and it, it does the job, it definitely does. Like I said, it's almost borderline boring to use like in lower tier content, but it definitely does scale to a higher tier content, more so than you might think. A lot of people think these exotics are only good in like, you know, patrols, strikes, and things like that. But using this or Risk Runner in like day one raids is still extremely strong. And then to finish out the build, you have the shotgun, which is the highest CPS special in the game and it'll be really good for the close range like mini bosses and bosses then you have the linear for range damage so all around really solid loadout then moving on to the third spot i have the delicate tomb the new fusion this season and this fusion is just all around really good no matter if you're on arc or not obviously it's unpaired the best with warlock then once again i have your primary choice i use the smite and pair that with a linear once again with this build you can run unstoppable pulse then if you're playing arc you can run the overload grenades on your class item through the artifact mod. So not a huge amount of coverage on champions. You have to take advantage of an arc grenade, but you can still make it work. And overall, the delicate tomb is easily one of the best accurate weapons in the game, and it works on any subclass. Obviously, it's on pair the best with arc and even further with warlock. But once you pick up a uh, trace, the thing just absolutely shreds everything. Pairing that with a smite for a little bit of range for Acklear, then a linear for your boss DPS. All around a very solid build and can be adapted for champions for soul loss sectors or even nightfalls. And all around, comboed with the Warlock build, just super solid. Coming in at the number two spot, we have the best champion build in the game, and it's a revolve around Anarchy, like usual. And this season, what we'll be pairing with it is gonna be a scout rifle. 
preferably the tarnished metal with volt shot because i think volt shot is easy the best primary perk in the game if not the best perk overall it absolutely like increases the dps of the weapon through the roof and that clear is crazy and depending on if you need different shields to be broken you can run the vision for solar or even the vouch safe with explosive is my go-to for void and finally pairing that with the mill reprieve with enhanced rounded which is once again the highest dps special in the game so just like the previous builds this one gets a lot of champion coverage you have arc overload grenades then you have barrier with your scout then if you need it unstoppable with your shotgun so you can easily get all three with this build making it very versatile for every solo boss sector in the game and even nightfalls and this is the loadout i use for both warlock and titan for solo boss sectors which i've been doing a lot of this season and on titan this build just shreds i mean you're doing every solo boss sector in like a minute to two minutes depending on how long it is and yeah it's a uh, it's it's pretty good you simply just stun whatever champion it is, shoot it with two anarchy, and that alone should kill the champion. But obviously, you throw a grenade at it, pull the shotgun, and shoot it a few times. You're gonna be killing them in like less than a second. And before you know it, the boss sector is already over. It's exactly everything you need to do these boss sectors very efficiently. And I'm waiting to use this in GM Nightfalls. I think, depending on the GM, this or what will be at the number one spot might be a little bit better. But as you see in the gameplay on screen, I don't even have to really use my scout outside of breaking the barrier shield. But when I play on Warlock, the Volt Shot on the scout comes way more in use and is definitely a huge asset to this build for like the actor portion of the Lost Sectors. So overall, extremely good build for anything with champions in it. And finally coming in at the number one spot, we have the best boss fight loadout in the game is Nagi's Burden plus a primary choice. Once again, I prefer the Volt Shot sidearm or scout then we also have a linear choice preferably a fireline one or the cataclysm and once again for this build even though it's more so for boss fights you can make it useful for champions with barrier scout then also overload arc grenades if you're playing arc but once again not really meant for champions and more so for boss fights and this is why i used all day one and practically every single time i've done king's fall since for every single boss fight in the raid Obviously great for War Priest, great for Orcs, great for Golgroth, great for Daughters. I mean, you just put this loadout on when you enter raid and you're just good to go for every encounter. And that is for like every raid in the entire game. It worked extremely well. And as mentioned, I think you could argue this might be one of the best loadouts for GM Lightfalls later this season because of the fact that this build offers so much total damage output which is what you need for you know a lot of champions and the fact that a lot of its damage is coming from a special with the Iznagi's Burden it's gonna be easier to get ammo back and you have a scout for a barrier then if you have one person on your team run like Div and Smite that will obviously cover Overload and Unstoppable you could also change to a Pulse in your energy slot and you can run Barrier Sniper Unstoppable Pulse and then if you were playing arc you would still have arc overload so you could technically cover all three by yourself so i think this will also be one of the best loadouts for gms also so it's hard to argue that this is not the best loadout in the game best for raids best for gms just good all around and yeah i think that's gonna be it for the video my top five loadouts this season anyways let me know if there's something you've been using a lot this season that was not featured on this list like usual thanks for watching catch us next time